So what is drop shipping? How does it work? Can you make money? And just how much? Let's hop right in. What's up everyone? My name is John and welcome to The Creed. Today I'm going to be taking you through all the different steps, exactly how you can go through and set up the business and make money like this. All right, so, so, day one, three, one, three, we're at almost 4, US. so as you can see here, these are some stores that I've scaled out making thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars per month, thousands of dollars every single day. And this is all using drop shipping. This is all using single products in general stores, which are the easiest to do. And I'm going to break that all down and let it basically make Make it all make sense for you. So when it comes to drop shipping, how does it work? So basically the drop shipping business model is quite simple when you break it down. What it is, is you go and you host a store using Shopify. So Shopify is a hosting platform for websites. They're basically just like Amazon where you can sell on Amazon, but with Shopify, you can sell using Shopify. So you go to Shopify, you create an online store. Then once you have that online store, you can start selling products. When it comes to standard retail or standard e-commerce, what you typically would have to do is have a brand and actually hold inventory for the products that you're planning on selling on your store. This is what makes drop shipping so cool. Basically what you can do is you can go out and sell products to people through your store and not have to get the inventory or buy the products until the customer actually goes through and makes a purchase on your store. So this is exactly how it works. Customer comes into your store from whatever ad platform it is that you're using to get them there, whether it's organic or paid, once they're at their store, they're browsing through their store, right? They can see all the different products. They see what it is that you were marketing and they're like, oh, you know what? I really like this product. They go ahead, they click add to cart, check out, pay you. And now you've got this shiny new order on the back end of your Shopify store showing that it came through, you've been paid. And now what do you do? you got to somehow go through and get your product to your customer. So this is what drop shipping is. Now that the customer has gone through and placed an order on your store, you're going to go and place an order for that exact same product on a wholesale website. So when you're starting out, what you're going to want to do is use AliExpress. For those of you that don't know, AliExpress is a wholesale website where you can purchase products directly from suppliers in China, which gives you a much lower price for the cost of goods. This gives you the ability to sell your products for a higher price on your store, purchase it for a lower price from AliExpress, and then, the, and then the actual supplier on AliExpress goes and they ship the product directly to your customer. So all that you need to do is get your customer to make the purchase on your website, send the information of that customer to the AliExpress supplier, and then they go and they ship the product directly to your customer after you've paid them. So why this business model is so cool and why it's so great for people that want to start off with little money or no money is because it gives you the ability to start out by making sales before actually having to purchase the inventory. So whenever it comes to businesses, whether it's an actual store or an online store, the amount of risk that you have typically comes down to what you're holding. So whether it's you're holding a piece of real estate, so you've got a lease, or if you're holding inventory, so you've got all the different products in your store. This is why it's so difficult for all these traditional business models where you're out there and you're working in a store and you have to hold inventory and you have to basically hope that the inventory sells and if it doesn't sell you're taking a loss with drop shipping what it does is it gives you the ability to go through make the sale first and then purchase the inventory and have it shipped directly to the customer so this skips the entire step of holding inventory shipping large amounts of inventory to your store holding the inventory processing the inventory all of that crazy stuff that's quite difficult to do because it requires a lot of inventory planning with drop shipping, you no longer have to do that. So after explaining this business model, that's the basic breakdown of it. A lot of people, what they're wondering is does drop shipping work for everyone? Can it work for everyone? The answer is it does not work for everyone because everyone isn't willing to put in the time, put in the effort and put in the amount of work it takes to build a business. This is still a business, even though it's a much 
better and more efficient business to get into than a standard store, it is still a business that requires a lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of effort, which most people aren't willing to do. If you have those things and you're ready to go out there and start building a business, 100% dropshipping can be successful for you. And I know you're probably sitting there watching this video wondering, well, John, just how successful can I be with dropshipping? And the potential for dropshipping is insane. When it comes down to it, the potential for where you want to go with a dropshipping business comes down to how much time, effort, and money you reinvest into your business. If you're willing to invest a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of effort into your business, you can grow it to such a high level that you will be making hundreds of thousands of dollars per month from dropshipping. And the cool thing about this business model is as you get money coming in and as you grow up your bank account, you can then go and reinvest and do what we call scaling a product, which means taking a product that's doing good, selling a successful amount of inventory, and you can go and you can scale it up to a point where you're selling even more of that product. And of course, when you sell more product, you make more money. That's how it works. So when you're starting out, you wanna start off small, you wanna start off with a smaller amount of products, scaling them out slowly. And the way that you do this is using ad platforms. Whoa, wait a second. As you all know, on every single one of my videos, I do offer a free consultation call to one lucky winner. All that you need to do is go comment down below. Welcome to the Creed. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that red button. Become a member of the Creed and you'll be entered in to win that call. And the winner from the last video is Pape Tall. All that you need to do is go find the link to my Instagram down below, send me a message and we'll connect for that call. So now that you got a basic understanding of the business model, which is very simple when you break it down, the next step is figuring out how to actually get customers to your store so that you can start making these sales. And the way that you get customers to your store is through either organic or paid ads. So organic ads basically is using emails, using social media, basically trying to get a hold of the customer and draw them to your store without actually having to pay for that reach. When it comes to paid ads, that means you're using Google, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, all of these different platforms, and you're advertising on these platforms to get people to come to your store. So when you're starting out, the cool thing about this is you can use organic engagement to get sales. But once you have the money and you're ready to start doing it, you wanna start using paid ads because this is where you can start scaling and start making the larger amounts of money going upwards of 20, 30, 40, $50,000 per day. You can make so much money with drop shipping. It is just ridiculous and the potential always comes down to what you're willing to do with it. So I hope that all makes sense. It's just a basic breakdown of drop shipping, the business model, how it works. If you're curious out there and you're trying to start an e-commerce business, trying to start any type of business, drop shipping is a business model that would be great for you. And if what I've just explained isn't enough for you and it didn't really give you a deep detailed breakdown of everything that's going on, go check out the rest of my videos on the Creed. They go through more in-depth instruction on all the different things that you need to do, all the different steps that you need to do to go and successfully run a dropshipping business. If you do have more questions, you can go find my Instagram, you can go find the Ecom Creed Masters Group, and you can go and ask questions in that group or to me directly on Instagram, and you can learn the business model. When it comes to business, not just drop shipping, it always comes down to you. How much effort are you willing to put into the business? How much time are you willing to put into the business? If you go through and you're just messaging me saying, hey John, what is drop shipping? How do I do it? And you haven't watched any of my videos, that's a clear sign to me that you are not willing to do what it takes to go through and build out this business model. Go watch the videos, go learn stuff, start the business, and as you have questions going along through the business, ask questions, and the community is there to help in the Ecom Creed Masters Group, and I am here to help you as a member of the Creed. I hope this all made sense to you. If you do have any questions in regards to the dropshipping business model, leave a comment down below. It is quite simple. I'm gonna put up a quick image here showing the basic structure of it again one more time just so that it can really sink in. If you do have anything else that you wanna see a video on after watching this, just go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to get to that. Thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you on the next video.